Hello everyone, this is Raju Mathu and on my last video I have shown you how can we add navigation to window like how can we redirect from one page to another page. So continue with that. Uh, Titanium also provides few transition styles that can that we can apply while moving from one page to another. So uh, I am going to display, uh, show you right now how can we add those transition style and also how they will look like. So uh, there are different uh, styles that uh, Titanium provides. So to display all those styles, let's make it table view and on um, adding different rows for different style, I will demonstrate to you how can we add those transitions while navigation from navigating from one page to another. So for continuing with that, let's edit table view on my index view. So table view now add rows for different style. So the basically there are they are providing four style and one for none which will not show any effect. So let's have uh, four table row view table view row now let's add the title for each rows like they are providing um, curl up style so let's have the curl up then by this way let me let me add the four sorry five style five rows now uh, this is the first row which will have the curl up style now this row will have curl down they are also providing the curl down uh, transition style then they have flip from right flip from left so let's have flip from left then by the same way flip from right then they are also providing the one that is none which is uh, default one so it's the none one so here we have made a table with the four five rows for five different transition style now let's have some cust one custom property which I will use to navigate uh, to add the style for that particular row so let's have this let's make it style name property I will use this property to select the uh, transition style on the controller so let's make it curl up By this way, I'm going to add for these different rows. This, this will be curl down. Now this will be flip from right. Sorry, flip, flip from left. Now the same way will be for flip from right then last one is flip for uh, that is none so here I have made the table view now let's go for the controller which will actually populate the click event on the rows uh, which will navigate uh, with a different style. So before that I need to add the click event on table view so that on click of that row we can call that function. So let's add on click event here. Now add a function called open window. So this is the win uh, function name. So definitely this should be in on uh, controller 
that is index dot x so uh, as we have shown on my last video we have already that function that will call the level view this is the page that we will go to navigate and this is the fun uh, proper functions that will open the window so before that we need to check the row uh, and uh, also we need to check that is it uh, for which style we need to apply so for that let's add a variable called variable transition style transition style style value let's put that so let's call it from the table uh, row from the row so to in order to get any data from the selected row we need to call the event that pass from that function and then row data which will be responsible to get to have that row now we will call that row property particular that row property so which I have uh, have this property actual name so this is the type of mistake I should have the spell should be have that style name so it's okay so now I have the transition style name that I have assigned on the row so I need to have a function which will return the transition style so that we can uh, apply uh, as per the selected row so I have already added a function uh, written a function for that which will exactly accept the type and it will uh, depending on the type it will return the transition style that we need to implement or that we need to show so for color this is the type this is specifically for iPhone so here it is ti dot or titanium dot ui dot iPhone here you can see that this is iPhone so this is specifically for iPhone so ti dot ui dot iPhone and then animation style and these are the different animation type like curl up for k is curl up this will be the curl up then for same way the curl down click from right left click from right and this is the default one this is the none so by this way I uh, if I pass the parameter what uh, this type it will according to that it will return the transition style type so let's uh, define the style variable here variable style type transition style type transition style type So I will pass this parameter. Uh, I will call this function and we'll pass the parameter that comes from the that selected row. So depending on that, it will return the transition style. Oops, if everything goes wrong, uh, right. So here I got the transition type that I need to implement. Uh, I need to show then where we will apply or where, uh, where we will going to implement that we will assign that transition to that window while opening that window so to do so we need to add the transition while uh, that type as a parameter on open function of that view so this is the view that we are going to open and this is the function which is responsible to open the window so we need to pass the parameter that is called transition transition and we need to pass the value like the transition type so we can also directly define that parameter here 
like ti.ui.iphone.animationstyle.curl up here so as we are uh, displaying as we are going to display the transition type depending on the sel uh, selected row so I have just uh, make this thing dynamically so let's uh, run it and also one more thing so uh, if I navigate to the next page then I have also implemented the function and I need to also implement the functionality to close that window on click of that uh, window so that I can or we can uh, or we need to also add the functionality to get back to the initial page so for that thing like I am going to the level view so for level view also so let's see the level view so for on that level view I have uh, so on that level view also this is the level this is the page that where we will going to navigate we'll have a level welcome you so now on click of the, uh, I need to on click of that level I need to close that window so that I can get back to that initial page so let's add and click event here okay let's first of all let's see the transition style once so that uh, then I will add that close functionality to get back to the initial page <coughs> so basically they are providing these uh, only four type of uh, transition and here you scroll so this is the table view where they are the different rows with different style name transition style name type name so let's click on the first one curl up so here you can see that it's open the new window with a curl up style so now if I want to get back to the initial page I need to close this window first so let's add the uh, code to close the window to the next page let that is the level dot xml so for that I need to add a click event on that wel uh, welcome level so that I on click of that welcome it can be closed that window can close may close so let's add on click event uh, let's um, call a function call name a function like close window then let's define this window in this function here need to be close that current function uh, level sorry the window so to do so we need to call that function uh, that window and we need to close that window so to do so we need to call that dollar sign bar then we need to call that window so in level uh, this level view we have added a window that have a id called level window so i will call this window by this id property and will close that window so let's call this and call the function close that's it now let's run the application again so that we can see the different style a single run and we can also get back to the initial page and so that we can test the different style now it's running we can also uh, add the transition while closing the window so th that will uh, I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure but uh, we will see on 
we will explore on these on our next videos so that uh, you can have the clear idea on the transition where you can implement or where we cannot so it takes a uh, little bit of time to run the application now it's running still running so uh, in between we can also look into the style like uh, on to make transition on the android section we need to uh, apply some other uh, implement some other way so that we can also have the uh, transition on android but for an uh, ios they are giving the straightforward apis they are giving the straightforward uh, properties so that we can uh, implement very easily on the for our iPhone app Titanium also provides the different type of uh, API for different platforms like they are also providing some uh, Android specific APIs which can be implemented on the Android platform and also they are providing some APIs uh, related to the iPad they, uh, which can be uh, only work on iPad so uh, depending on the OS or depending on the platform also we can have uh, different uh, APIs different functionalities as because these uh, OS's, uh, OS are different from one another so they are providing the uh, different things for different OS so let's see the console is it running or not still running get some error let's run it again it's running here you can see that it's running so here uh, this is the table where uh, with the different transition style so let's see the first one curl up okay so now uh, on click of this level it should close that current window so it's done so now let's see the next uh, style curl down okay Click from right, left. Good. Click from right. The last one, this is none. So it's just simply changing the page without any animation style. So by this way, we can have the multiple, we can uh, have the transition for different way, for different way we can implement this functionality. So up to this, thanks.